Hello out there! This is Steve Stein uh, from Guitar Zoom, and we're back with another Wicked Lick. Uh, hopefully everybody's doing okay out there. I'll give you a few seconds to get prepared. If you've got your guitar handy, go ahead and grab that. Uh, and I'm going to remind you that if you want the tablature for today's lesson, uh, you're going to want to go to igpa.org slash wickedlick slash 26. Okay. Uh, hi out there. How you doing? So awesome that you guys are taking time out of your day to join me today. Uh, we'll see if you recognize this track. This is a wicked lick. Uh, this is one of the licks that I, um, when I was very young, I used to uh, practice to this to get my chops up. So I thought I'd see if you guys recognize this and here we go. Okay, so this is Master of Puppets. Uh, when I was a kid learning how to play this song, I used to use alternate picking because I couldn't pick down fast enough to be able to play it. And it was funny because I had a, a friend of mine that came over to my house when I was learning how to play this, and he goes, man, you can't play those with alternate picks. This is metal. You have to play them with down. <clears throat> and as silly as that was, it was pretty impactful on me because you know I grew up listening to people like uh, I was a big Ramones fan. And, uh, you know, Johnny Ramone would, would play down really fast. And, and a lot of these uh, early metal bands were influenced by the speed of a lot of those punk people. So uh, so anyway, what I'm going to do is break this down for you. And remember, please, uh, if you like this, you know, like it, share it, subscribe to this. So you, you're, you know, notified every day when we do these things. Um, let's keep spreading the word of, of Wicked Lick of the Day and of Guitar Zoom, of course. So let's take a look at this once. So what we're going to do is the very beginning of this just starts with some power chords. We're going to play an E power chord, and then we're going to play D, uh, D flat, and C, which is 5, 4, and 3. And then that's where it gets kind of crazy as you get into the... Uh... So what you want to do there is you're going to be playing zeros on the sixth string. You're going to be palm muting those, okay? So anytime you do a zero, you're going to palm mute that zero. So you're going to do two zeros. You're going to play a seven on the fifth string. And then the same thing on the six, and then two zeros, and then you're gonna play the five, four, three again. So you have. Okay, then you move into the next little riff, which is gonna be. Now, there's a couple of different ways that you can do this. It's all down picking. You're gonna go zero, zero, seven, zero, zero, six, zero, zero, five. And then when you get to the five, you're going to play five, zero, four, zero, three, zero, two, zero. Now you can do that segment there, the five through the two, you can do those as pull-offs from five to zero. So you have like that. I don't do that, but you certainly can do that. And I've seen people do that. I always just play the five and then I palm mute the zero and then the four, palm mute the zero. So I have... Now that last zero I do leave open uh, just because I get prepared for going back to the palm muting of the beginning of it again. So it, it tags around like this. And see, I start palm muting again after that. So I leave that zero open at the end and then start palm muting to, to create that sequential pattern. So let me play the whole thing for you. And again, if you need the tablature, if you go to IGPA, dot org slash wicked lick slash this is lick number 26 you're going to have the jam track uh, the pdf or the guitar profile whichever one works for you <laughs> Okay. Now this thing's running about, 
I don't even remember. I think it's around 210. Uh, 210 beats a minute, so it's pretty darn fast, so this would be a prime opportunity to take out your metronome. Okay, now that leads to the next little lick, which is what was really challenging for me as a kid trying to learn how to go... Okay, and what you're doing there is you're going to be palm meeting 0 and 1 on the 6th string, and then you're just adding a note in between each time. You're going to add 2 on the 5th string, 3 on the 5th string, and 4 on the 5th string. So it sounds like this. And then I'm going to go backwards. So I have 2, 3, 4, 3, and then 2, 2. So watch this. Okay, speed that up a little bit. Now you'll notice I'm using four fingers for four frets, right? I'm using this first finger for the ones, this one for the twos, this one for the threes, and this one for the fours. Now when you get done with that, you're going to come around a second time, you're going to play, and then you're going to play one to zero, we're going to turn this around. Right there we're going to play one zero instead. And then we're going to do this little... So if I put that all together nice and slow, okay, so back and forth like that. Okay, so that's what we can work on today. If you're at all a metalhead, um, you know, I have a mixtape, so to speak, although it's all digital nowadays, uh, of songs that I practice along with to, you know, maintain my speed and my strength and things like that. And I have a number of Metallica songs on my list, and, and certainly Master of Puppets is no exception. Uh, so it's a really great one, you know, whether you play the entire song or whether you just play the beginning just as a, a speed and, and strength riff, it's, it's really quite fun to play. Um, so again, I've given you the tablature for that. If you go to igpa.org slash wickedlick slash 26, I think this is, uh, you'll be able to download that and play along with the jam track and everything like that, and then just come back to this video whenever you need to uh, for some instruction on it. And please, first of all, thank you to everybody that's been sending me ideas for songs and for artists and things like that. Um, I love to hear different ideas that you've got for songs, and I'm keeping track of everything. Uh, and as long as we keep enjoying these, and, and you keep wanting to see these, and you keep sharing and, and liking and subscribing to these Wicked Licks, I'll keep doing them uh, Monday through Friday, every day of the week. Um, so... Everybody take care, and remember, if you need to, it will be available on the Stein Music Lessons uh, Facebook page, and um, you can watch it anytime you like. And like I said, please share it, please like it, um, anything to kind of get the word out about these. So take care, practice hard, and I'll speak to you soon, all right? Hi there. Thank you so much for watching this video. I certainly hope that it helped you a little bit. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please do me a huge favor and either like it subscribe to the channel, share it, or comment on it, okay? That's gonna help us out enormously. Um, and then we can keep in contact with you when we have new material that comes out. And if you uh, enjoyed the video, we've got some other videos over here that you can watch that might be able to help you on your guitar journey as well. And if you look up on the top there, you're gonna see there's a little eye up there. If you click on that, we are gonna be giving you a free gift just to say thank you for watching the video. Um, and then if you'd like to follow us on social media, you can use the term at GuitarZoom and you can find us there. All right. So take care, keep practicing and have a great day.